guys, hope you're going well. Today I'm talking about the Western movie Slow West from Scottish writer-director John McLean. The movie is set in Colorado, but it's filmed in New Zealand. So that's a Scottish writer-director set in America, filmed in New Zealand with an Australian lead, Cody Smith McPhee. So the Sydney Film Festival is actually happening right now. And this movie Slow West was one of my more anticipated movies and the first one that I got to catch as part of the festival. So I was really looking forward to it. I am a huge fan of Michael Fassbinder and there are a couple of Australian actors in here as well including Cody Smith McPhee who plays the young lead Jay and Ben Mendelsohn who is my favourite Aussie bad guy. He just plays bad so well. The story follows the young and naive Jay Cavendish who is making his way from Scotland to the lawless landscape of Colorado and he's searching for his love Rose and she's moved there ahead of him with her father. And of course, poor Jay just is not at all equipped to handle the harshness of the West and he's reluctantly forced to team up with Silas, played by Michael Fassbender, who agrees to chaperone him through the country until they find Rose. So here we have this unlikely friendship of black and white between Jay who is so sweet natured always wanting to believe the best in people and Silas who is a brute and an outlaw and just sees the world for what it is. There are so many things about this movie that make it feel very non-western it in no means pays any type of homage to the classic Western genre or style. It is simply a story that happens to be set in the West. To emphasize that point as well, that it's not about the beautiful big landscapes, that this story is a more concentrated and inward looking view, they've made a stylistic choice to film the movie in an unusual aspect ratio. So it's not your lovely big 16 by nine widescreen. It's a smaller, more old fashioned version of that widescreen. Screen. bigger than your 4x3 but an earlier version of what widescreen used to be and I found that a, a very unusual choice I'm not sure that it really made any difference to me per se but then again everything about this movie does feel slightly out of place just like Jay Cavendish does in this Wild West and that also goes for the music I thought the music was really almost comical in a way and that's a whole tone to this movie that I really liked that everything was cruelly comical Jay just doesn't belong in the harsh environment of this world and it's almost funny well almost it's not entirely funny that's the black sort of humor that runs underneath it one of the scenes that stands out to me one of the moments is where jay has put all his trust in this fellow traveler who has gone and done one over on him and stolen all his possessions and in the morning when jay wakes up wearing nothing but his undergarments stranded in the middle of nowhere he opens up this note that the traveler has left him and the, the note just says west and has an arrow pointing west because Jay's got no possessions he doesn't know which way to go so the note says west but of course in his confusion Jay's picked up the note and walked around in a circle and now he doesn't know which way the arrow points to so he doesn't know which way to go that is a perfect example of the cruel comedy <laughs> throughout this movie I enjoyed this movie very much especially as someone who doesn't have a long-standing love of the traditional western genre a movie like this really brings a modern approach to a very familiar setting and story. The whole concept for the movie was really well executed and it's absolutely worth a look in in my opinion. Also the title Slow West is a very fitting title. I know that they're marketing this movie slightly as an action or a thriller but just think Slow West and that's all you really need to know. They were my thoughts on the movie Slow West. Thank you so much for watching. You can leave me comments in the comments section down below and let me know what you thought of the movie. You can also subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews. I have more reviews coming from the Sydney Film Festival shortly so you can stay tuned for that and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.